Good afternoon. Today I'm going to discuss a um, issue that some of you might have or may have had in the past and not known what uh, happened. I have a uh, Western Digital My Passport 2 terabyte hard drive that um, I carry around with me to back up stuff on because it's uh, small and very portable. And um, I have purchased a second one and I want to show you what can happen when you have perhaps two identical hard drives and uh, a potential problem. I'm going to take my first hard drive that I've had for a while, a couple of months, and I've just plugged it into my computer. And here in just a second, we're going to see that it's going to show up down here in my computer and it's right here and it has all of my information on there and that's great so I'm able to look at it and do what I normally am able to do now I'm going to take my second drive and I'm going to plug it in and I'm plugging it in right now so the assumption is it should pop up here on the screen and show that there's another drive plugged in. But you can see that nothing has happened. And there's a, a way to, um, one way to look to see if it's there is to go down here to your uh, area where you can eject the uh, hard drives, any uh, USB drives or whatever. And you can see that I've got one shown here, my my first one at drive F and of course that shows up over here but you can see there's another one there but it's not showing up over here so what has happened is with these two identical hard drives they have the same ID signature so they're doing what's called a collision and because of that the computer is not uh, able to recognize that second hard drive being that it is basically identical to the other one now if you had different models you probably wouldn't run into that problem if you had a Western Digital and a Seagate or or uh, any other kind of hard drive but because these two are identical the computer is having a hard time seeing it but you can see it's actually there but there's no drive assigned to it so one of the quick ways to fix this problem is to go over here to um, computer and then you can click on right click on computer and then you see a manage option here you can click there and it will give you an option here of uh, computer management window and there's a disk management you can click on down there now you can look down here and see that I've got a passport drive another one that's identical in size now notice it says offline and this one is online. That right there is one reason why you can't see that drive. Now before I show you this drive, I'm going to show you some other information about it. I'm going to go to start. I'm going to type in command and I'm going to go into DOS. I'm going to do CD backslash to get to the root directory. Then I'm going to type in disk part. Now what this is going to do is give me some ability that I don't have uh, otherwise. I'm going to do uh, list disk. And you can see when I type that, that's like getting a directory. And here's my 700 gigabyte hard drive that's in my computer. That's disk zero. Normally that's the one that shows first. Here's my second one that shows it's online. And then here is that other one that shows it is offline. Now I'm going to do another command here. I'm going to do select disk 1. And then I'm going to give uh, another command here, unique ID disk. And it'll give me the ID of the disk. And you can see the number here is what it is. Now I'm going to select disk 2. And then I'm going to do the unique ID again. And 
and you can see here that we have the same ID for the same disk. Let's do this again. Select disk 1. There's the ID. Select disk 2. Now you can see select disk 1 was chosen and here's the ID for that one and you can see it's got the same ID. That's what's causing the problem. A fairly quick fix to this is to go back into this computer management window that we opened up by going to right click on computer and then click on manage and all I have to do now is I can right click on here and when I right click it says online properties or help. If I take this disk online and click online that will quick, quickly solve the problem of being able to see the second disk that has now been plugged in. So now let's go here and minimize this and we can now see we have two different disks here with the appropriate drive letters to be able to uh, allow the computer or you as the user to get to it. There's another way to do that in DOS but I don't think I will bore you with that issue and just uh, give you the quick fix here. Once again you go to computer, you right click, you find manage, click on that window and then when that uh, window opens up as we know it was down here you can see what disks are there and if something is not online that's probably a clue of the reason why you're not able to see a second external hard drive that might be identical to the one that you're currently using. So a little information here, a little uh, tidbit for you that you may not have um, ever had happen to you but just in case it does happen this could be very well the reason why you're not able to see another uh, external hard drive because they might be identical and they're causing a collision. The quick fix is to go here to computer management and bring it online and then you should be set. Now let me show you what has happened here when we did that. Let's select the disk 2 again. Remember it had the ID of uh, this number here. Let's select it. Now if you notice that previous number has been changed. So the computer has given this new external hard drive a new ID. By doing that you should not ever have trouble loading uh, these two disks onto this same laptop again. So I hope that helps uh, give you an idea of what potentially could happen and with that I will close this video. Thank you.